words. We'll see if I can be heard. It's not as noisy as it was just a couple minutes ago with the wind and the waves, but it's a good noisy. Uh, reminds us um, like how powerful what allowed us to even evolve and exist is. So I think a lecture from the ocean beats any college lecture. There's just so much wisdom in the ocean itself. So, um, here, I'll flip it around. See my beautiful thing. That's really bright. Right. Um, so yeah, I am at the end. I'm at the furthest south point. I just left what I think is the second furthest south, but they're both comparable. I really zoomed in just south of Beach Ave in Cape May. Um, and I'm walking to the other point, which I think is a little bit, it's a farther west by a little bit. I think it's even further south, but right now I'm in the ocean halfway, or the ocean's kind of taking me over. Um, but, uh, yeah, I made it. So, um, I did this walk. I walked the whole length in New Jersey, uh, from Port Jervis all the way down here, Port Jervis, New York. But, um, I did it without any pipelines, any new pipelines, any fracking pipelines already existing. So there are five major ones that are impending on the state but I hope in five or six years if I do something like this again which I'm thinking about I can do the same exact walk thank you Heather um, I that this walk I could do again without any new pipelines it's nothing's written in stone the pipelines aren't under the stone under the roads nothing has happened we just have to realize our power to give and take legitimacy and we could take legitimacy away from these corporations and from these government uh, politicians that collude with corporations if we really rally together we can see our actual power manifested by stopping these whatever way it takes even if the laws are against us that didn't stop lots of people from stopping things sometimes we got to go above and beyond and this is very serious because if these pipelines are built, more will come, there'll be more, uh, pardon the term, but there'll be more raping of nature. It's just like giving the okay to just allow this to happen and believe we have no power. If we believe we have no power, that's halfway of the, uh, halfway to actually having no power. Um, so yeah, I would like to do this walk again, and with your help, I would like it to be a walk that hasn't had pipelines built for the, in my view, the express purpose of uh, fracking companies to export their filthy products. So maybe next time I'll do it from here all the way back up north. But there's certainly plenty of pipelines to keep us busy in this fight. Going in order from north to south, since that's the way I walk about it, that's a strong way. Um, the, uh, there's the Pilgrim Pipeline, which is very long. It's two states. It is New York and New Jersey, and I think that's 178 miles long. There's the Penn East Pipeline, which is Pennsylvania as the name, heading east into New Jersey. And that's in total, I think, anywhere from 80 to like 130 miles long. Then there's a compressor station and a pipeline called the NESC which runs a little bit on land but I think for 20, uh, 20 plus miles is actually under the ocean or under the bay, the Raritan Bay and that's completely horrible and unique and we have to figure out a way to uniquely take on that. So that's three. The fourth one is the Southern Reliability Link which runs Burlington County, Ocean County and I'm going to say Monmouth as well because it's on the border of Monmouth County and they're not at the table as far as making the decision with the Pinelands Commission, but they're certainly an affected county. And that's certainly a, a measure for those of us in Monmouth County especially, that we could say we're affected persons and we have every claim and every right to go there and tell the pre-olders and tell whoever else to get out with this pipeline, get out of our state, get off our land. We are nothing without this land. You coming here trying to put this pipeline in is basically trying to murder us. It's attempted murder of humans and of many other species. And we can't let this stuff go on. So, now I have the ocean behind me. 
and that's what I feel. I feel like the, the whole entire planet is behind us fighting against this nonsense. It's just humans um, are conflicted because we have gotten so many habits that we have are dependent on uh, extracting resources that harm the overall environment. So we have to stand up and do something. Um, I think I have a little bit more to walk. So I said four pipelines. The, let's see if I can do them again. Pilgrim, Penn East, NESC, uh, which is the one that goes under the Raritan Bay and supposed, supposedly to, to supply New York. Um, and that includes a Franklin gas compressor station, then the SRL, which includes the Chesterfield gas con compressor station, and then the one that I'm gonna do a little bit of walking of tomorrow. So even though I'm all the way south, I'm not fully done. Um, the uh, South SJG, South Jersey gas pipeline, and that is connected to a coal plant, and it's gonna change it from a coal plant to a natural gas plant if it's built. But the best solution is just to shut down the plant and for the electricity needs, uh, figure out some other combination of renewables to plant the seeds of the future. If we're gonna choose to continue to be creatures dependent on um, electricity, let's at least do it somewhat responsibly. And the combination of wind, solar, and hydro, electric, and any other ideas that come out are certainly uh, much better than doing natural gas that should stay in the ground. Even if the burning of natural gas isn't harmful, the extraction of it, especially fracked natural gas, is unacceptably harmful. All right. So, all right, I'm at the other southernmost point. I think this is the true south of Cape May. 